One of the biggest issues facing buyers is the ability to borrow the required amount. Typically, the majority of lenders will use an income multiple of four and a half times to calculate your affordability. We have seen recently some lenders come out with innovative solutions to help try and alleviate some of this problem. One example was about six months ago, Nationwide came out with their helping hand proposition where eligible borrowers could borrow five and a half times their income. Check out the video on screen now if you want to see whether or not you qualify for that. Well now, a lender called Habito has come out with a range of products designed to help with this issue called Habito One, where you can borrow up to seven times your income. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly how it works, who's eligible, the pros and cons, and then at the end, we're going to also have a look at the deals themselves, the rates, the fees, etc. So make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss anything, so you can make an informed decision to decide whether or not Habito One is the right option for you. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Michael. I'm a qualified UK mortgage advisor and content creator, making videos to help you guys make more informed choices when it comes to deciding on the right mortgage for you. Please enjoy the video and check out the other videos on the channel, all designed to enhance your mortgage knowledge. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So Habito One, what is it? It's a full term residential fixed rate mortgage where you have the ability to borrow up to seven times your income. So what does that mean? Well, the fixed term means that you get the same interest rate for the whole duration of the mortgage. So if you take out a 15 year term, it's fixed for 15 years. 40 year term, fixed for 40 years. You will need a minimum of a 10% deposit and it is available to first time buyers, home movers and people who wish to remortgage. So obviously the headline of this product is that ability to borrow up to seven times your income, but there are terms and conditions. So let's take a look at those now. So who qualifies? Well, firstly, any sole applicant who is earning £75,000 or more per annum. But before you start saying it's just for high earners, it's not. There are people who also qualify if they are earning a minimum of £25,000 per annum. And these are from a specified list of professions. So we'll put the list up on screen and I'll go through it. But what I do want to say before we go any further, and I've learned this from a TikTok video I did on this, look, no point commenting, what about builders? What about any other trade? What about scientists? Whoever it may be. Currently, if it is not on the list, you will not be eligible unless you're earning over £75,000. So we have police officers and that's senior police officers, police officers, sergeants, or below and police community support officers. If you work for the police, but you're none of those mentioned, unfortunately, you won't qualify. We have firefighters, nurses, and there's a subsidiary list of what that includes. They're on screen now. Ambulance workers, just paramedics, I'm afraid. Doctors, accountants, barristers, lawyers, solicitors, teachers, Again, I'll put all the relevant teachers that qualify up on screen. Engineers, and it's limited to civil engineers only. Again, I don't know why, don't shoot the messenger. That's just what they have decided to include. And this list, it's new, this product. So it could be that over time they add to this, but currently at the time of filming, it's just what's on this list. Dentists, architects, surveyors, and vets. You must also have a 12 month employment history. So what income is counted towards the enhanced multiple? Well, that list will be up on screen now as well. So if it's not on here, you can still use it, but it wouldn't be subject to the time seven. So things like bonus, overtime, commission, you can use it towards your overall affordability calculation, but that element wouldn't get the enhanced rate. So what about joint applications? Well, yep, yeah, joint applications are allowed. However, the enhanced times seven income multiple is limited to only one applicant. So if you both qualify and you're both a specified profession, only the highest earner would get the times seven. The other person's income would be at times five. Same again, if you're both earning over £75,000, you wouldn't get times seven across the board. The times seven would be on the highest earner and the other person times five. So let's talk about the proposition itself and the pros and cons and things like that. Well, first thing I want to say is, look, this option, this product will not be right for everybody. So you should really think long and hard about whether it's the right option for you and your family and give real consideration before proceeding, just like any mortgage. Because at the end of the day, if you get it wrong and you're struggling, your home may be repossessed if you don't keep up repayments on your mortgage. So let's talk about the fact that it's fixed for term. What does that mean? Well, it does what it says on the tip 
in, you will get the same rate throughout the entire duration of the mortgage, which is a good thing, but also could potentially be a bad thing. So sometimes it's better the devil you know. You know exactly what you're getting. You don't need to worry about the wider economy. If the Bank of England puts rates up and they shoot up rapidly, you know you're unaffected. So that certainly would give you the peace of mind and long-term stability. The disadvantage is though, if rates remain as they are and relatively low, you could potentially lose out because this certainly isn't a product with market leading interest rates. It's a speciality niche product. So the rates aren't gonna be the bottom basement rates that you see advertised all over the press and online. But I think this sort of product is a really good option for certain people. And I think more lenders will follow suit. I know in other countries, fixed for term mortgages are a lot more common than they are here, especially if the early repayment charges or ERCs are not astronomical. And on this, there's two options and we'll look at the detail later, but there are ones. One of the option is no early repayment charges. That's a fantastic plus for this product. You can take it out knowing you're not boxing yourself into a corner. Speaking of boxing yourself into a corner, one of the negatives with this potentially is if you go maximizing your borrowing capacity and going right to the limit on that seven times your income, you could potentially limit your options in the future. You wouldn't have that opportunity to switch to another lender because you simply wouldn't meet their affordability calculations. So that's something to bear in mind always consider your long-term goals when taking any mortgage out that being said though the sort of professions this is geared at are ones with career progression where over time you should benefit from promotions enhanced salaries and your earnings should rise meaning that for a few years you might be on this product you'll reduce your balance but your income will also go up meaning that you might possibly be able to switch to other lenders so it can work really well and I think that's one of the reasons why they've limited it to the sort of professions that they have when it comes to whether it's affordable or not, look, you should know your finances better than anyone, what you can and can't afford. So just sit down, take heed, work out what you're comfortable spending each month. And if the repayments work out that they're within that budget, you should be fine. And it's about being sensible. Just because you can go to times seven doesn't mean you should. It might be that you just need that little bit extra and it could be that you go to times five, five and a half, six, six and a half. You don't need to necessarily max out your borrowing capacity. So before we we look at the actual rates and the products and the terms and conditions in a bit more detail do me a favor smash that like button it only takes half a second and it really does help the channel to grow and i appreciate it also if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more of my content hit that subscribe button turn the bell notification button on so you know when my weekly videos are launched so the product itself, I'm gonna put the rate sheet up on screen now so you can have a good look at it. Make sure you pause the video if you need to. So there are two product sheets, ones with early repayment charges and ones without. The ones I'm gonna put on screen are the ones without early repayment charges. The difference is the ones with early repayment charges, whatever loan to value, whatever term you take, it will only be a 0.2% difference in the rate. Now, for me, 02 is not a massive amount, but to mean that you're not tied in and have that flexibility Flexibility. I know I will certainly be recommending to all of my clients that unless there is a really good reason not to, that they go with the ones without the early repayment charges. So the ones on screen, as I've mentioned, no early repayment charges. If you did for any reason want that slightly better rate, 0.2% discount, the early repayment charges are set at 5% of the balance for 10 years. So if you owed £300,000 on your mortgage and you had early repayment charges and you wanted to come out of the deal, that would be a £15,000 penalty so it's a massive amount so definitely be thinking of taking those ones without the early repayment charges so let's have a look at the rates you might see me glancing off screen because i can't memorize all the rates so the lowest one would be with no early repayment charges at 60 percent loan to value if you took it out between 10 and 15 years 2.99 percent now it's worth noting as well at that point to qualify for the time seven income multiple it needs to be a minimum term of 15 years so you would have to do the full 15 years and as you can see, the longer you take it out over, the slightly higher the interest rate and also the higher the loan to value, the higher the interest rate. So at 60%, you're looking at 2.99, all the way up to the highest rate, which would be 5.75% if you were to take it out over 40 years with just a 10% deposit. So just to pick one out, say you're a first time buyer, you wanted to take it out over 25 years, you got a 15% deposit, you'd be looking at a rate of 4.14, which is high when you compare it to other deals around with a 15% deposit, but it is a specialist niche product, so you're not gonna get those low rates. 4.14, 
compared historically when rates were a lot higher 20 years ago he's not a bad deal it just sounds quite on the high side because of how low rates can be at the minute for the market leading high street lenders but we know the reasons why you're trying to get that seven times income multiple if you're going for this product so looking at it that way it's not that bad a deal fees wise you've got a product fee of 1995 you've the option to pay this up front or add it to the loan without affecting the loan to value there's a valuation fee of 350 pound if you're a home mover or a first-time buyer remortgaging you get a free valuation so that's a good incentive and you are able to choose your own conveyancer as long as they're on the lenders panel so to summarise, as I've mentioned, for a specialist niche product, I think it's really good. It's really innovative. Won't be right for everybody, but there will be people who this will be the difference between buying the property in the desired location, able to do so compared to beforehand where they couldn't quite make it happen. So I think it has real good potential for many people. And I hope that many other lenders follow suit and do think a bit outside the box and come up with these unique solutions to many of the problems that are out there. If there's anything I haven't covered or you've still got questions, drop me a comment. I do try and respond to every one of them. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon in the next video.